executive decisions. And you need to start speaking up for yourself. Um, there were too many executive decisions. And then he was like, well, and don't touch the drawer. Don't don't go in the drawer. Why can't I go in the drawer? I, if that's your drawer, then that's fine. But don't act like I that I don't have um, agency over my own house for the next two months. I can't go in the drawer if you got a, your own drawer. Like it, it's, it was just this exclusionary tone, this exclusionary, like he is a big kid and she's letting him get away with it. Um, and he's going to go ahead and get away with it if she lets him. She didn't sign up for friend vibes. You need to say that. And then that part at the end, he asked her a question. And I'm sure the producers prompt each couple to ask that question because each couple asks the same question in their own way. They're eating. She's answering the question, which is such a, where does she have this even tone? Well, I guess we're doing good. I guess, you know, we there were some bumps in the road. but And he's sitting there dancing and not paying attention to her. Girl, this is how he's been acting this whole time. Um, last week I said that she's going to figure it out. Now, I, I don't know. I feel like it might be too late. She might sleep with him before she figures it out. Or she, I just, I don't know. Mm. But this, this guy, mm -mm. he's, he's an asshole to me. But I said, I'm sorry, Sean. No, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Crystal, I've never heard you you, you speak that way. <laughs> she said this was best. <laughs> he must have really he, you don't like it. You don't like Eric. Huh? Was that, you know, oh my god. It's got a little hot there. She like, uh -uh. Mm -mm. I tried to let y'all go first. That's why I was like, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, man. We just let it out. All right. We're gonna label you the queen of chaos too. <laughs> oh, that's the empress right there. That's the empress. Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna make an executive opinion. Eris is a 39 year old fool. Jasmine is about to pop off in a little bit because she comes off as the type of woman she doesn't like to be make made a fool of. When you make a fool of her, that that's when all H-E double hot stick gonna break loose. It's gonna be bad. But but she tries to come off as a lady. You know, she tries to come off as a lady. She don't want to look like a fool either, especially on national TV. But I'm not saying she's blinding herself, but I do see her, she's starting to catch on to his foolishness. She's just trying to give this a chance, but she's starting to catch on, and she's about to pop off. Eris, wow, he really is a fool. Like, what, what was you thinking? Like, you first of all, we all know this is a setup. Okay, last week you and the boys sitting out there, and all of a sudden y'all just raking your wives. Yeah, they prompted y'all do to, to do that, and then the next following episode which is, I guess, the next night or whatever for them, they got them sitting at the table, and all of a sudden, they wanted the, all the couples to raid each other around the table. I knew the second I saw it, set up, okay? Set up. They wanted that conversation from yesterday to be brought up here because it's going to be drama. I was like, so, okay, let's see what's going to happen. He did exactly what I thought he was going to do. Lie. <laughs> Just lie. No. Lie. The funny thing was, I'm looking at him in the face. I'm like, Eris, dude, you're a, you a fool. You said this proudly in front of all these men around here. Two of the men pushed back on you hard. One secretly snitched on you, you didn't even know yet. <laughs> and you literally sitting at this table. <laughs> Lying. And all the, they came Went to every man around the table. Boy, the look on their faces. <laughs> what Shaq was trying to keep the straight face. He didn't want to say nothing because he knew he just told uh what's her name, Kirsten, and Kirsten wanted to say it right then and there. She wanted to say it bad. 
I'm like, and and Eris is looking off in her. Yeah, she, you know, I think it's seven. You know, we all right. Was not reading the room. If he would have looked around at that table, he would have seen the trouble that he was in because he's also the type of person that doesn't want to come off looking bad if he can help it. But he's trying to do it to such an extent that it's, he's going to look bad regardless. No matter what he does, he's just going to look bad because he's a fool. Just fool. He never grew up. Only child syndrome. You know, Sean said he know about it. But obviously, Sean grew up. He learned how to work with others. Saw some pitfalls. You know, he's still working. Work in progress. We growing out here. It's okay. He ain't learned nothing yet. Listen, that I do get it. Where it, it, it somebody wrote, it's weird. It is weird having a man cave in your house when you're the only one that lived there. <laughs> yeah, I got a whole man cave in the house. I'm like, wait. I'm thinking, well, maybe, well, maybe he got roommates or something. Like, nah, don't look. Wait, then why you gotta? But he covered it up like, you know, this is where me and the fellas come. We watch the games. It's the game. Just say it's a game room, but it's the game room. That's all you had to say. No, he specifically said, this is my personal space. It's the man cave. You're the only woman that I'm allowing here. I'm like, bro, what is going on with you? This is stupid. You don't realize how stupid you sounding right now. This is crazy. But he don't care because he don't really like her. So when you don't really like a person, you're not really too considerate of their feelings that much you just gonna say whatever come to your mind and that's how he's acting and yeah since seaway's not here tonight i'm gonna say he's playing in her face patty cake style boom boom all day you know she's letting it ride for a minute i don't know how long that's gonna last because judging what did happen on that after show yeah there was a apparently after they had that discussion when he slept with the friend mind you it was before can't really uh, to me you can't really get too mad about it it was before you could talk about it but you can't get mad about it it was before he met you y'all hey y'all in the same town you're gonna know the same people people get around get over it that, that, that's my advice to everybody get over it okay it happens okay People throwing stuff on the crap table all night. It happens. But I think what was interesting, she said they got into they got into it about it. She had actually walked off and walked out the room and didn't come back for a few hours. So then then they shot that scene when it was eating at the table and they wanted them to ask that question and this and that and third. So that tell me right there, oh, she was faking the funk. She's just trying to. Work through this process, see what it do. But she already feeling some type of way. She just don't know exactly how she want to feel about it. Because she ain't no fool. I mean, it was before her. But put that on top of everything that's going on. Yo, I, I'm, am I looking like a fool? That's what she's asking herself. Am I looking like a fool? And if the answer turned out to be yes, we might see a whole other side of Jasmine. You know, and it's going to be, I don't know if it's going to be funny bad sad what i don't know but we about to see a whole nother side of jasmine because i caught a piece of it on that after party Woo, yeah Woo. attitude she was ready to go off off we gonna see i i, I see you crystal you ready to go off with her we gonna see <laughs> we gonna it's see. like yeah girl come on mm, let's get them mm, 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 mm. oh <laughs> Go for sure. You want to say that? Yeah, you. I was gonna say I see some debate in the comments around him having a man cave. Look, I don't know why that gets the lady so upset. You know, uh, if I had a house and I and I live by myself, I would have a man cave. You know, uh, I have a designated section where you know I have my TV, my setup, my couch, my chair. You know, all of that stuff. And I remember this is such a funness, and I bring it up for this reason because after um, after shortly after we got married, um, we bought a house, and uh, the house had a basement, and I was adamant about having a man cave. And do you know that 